your pieces of ribbon. Depending on the size of the flower that you want to make will determine what to cut your ribbon to. So our flower is going to be four inches. So if you want a four inch flower, we're going to take four times two, which is eight, and then add two, which is ten. So here I've got four pieces cut to ten inches. And then here I just wanted to have three, or to have six petals, so we're doing three for our second layer. And for this layer, I wanted it to be, uh, I wanted it to be two and a half inches. So two and a half times two is five, plus two is seven. So I've cut three pieces to seven inches. And then this piece here is just a long piece, and I'm going to use that for rolling my ribbon for the center. So make sure you got your cut your pieces, and then seal your ends. So get your needle and thread, and then we're going to put this together. So taking your ribbon, fold it in half, and then just press the end with your fingers, and that will give us our center. And that's going to be where we're going to stick our needle through. And then just continue doing the same thing for the rest of the pieces. Now once all our pieces are on our needle, we're going to start forming them into the shape that we want. So doing that is just doing making some X's. So making making an X with those two and these two. And if you need to, you can use an alligator clip to kind of hold everything together. And once you've got it where you like it, you just bring one end on and then bring the other end over. And then go to the next one. And then from here, you can kind of move it around a little bit more if you need to, that you can now that you can see it better. And then once all the pieces are in the spot that you like, pull your needle through. And then we're just going to stitch it back and forth a few times to really hold the petals together. going to take a couple stitches in the back and trim the thread. This gives us our first layer of the flower loop bow. So using those pieces for your second layer, do the same exact thing that I just showed you. So here I've got my second layer and then I wanted to show you really quick another way to do the folding. So what I showed you was to fold over each end. You can also do this, and that can give it a little bit of a different look. Just putting one end on, and then just going right next to the, the one next to it. So as you can see, it gives it a little bit of a different look, as you can see here. And so, as you can see, like those petals, those ends are showing, so you'd want to make sure that you have a center that covers those up. So taking your long piece of ribbon, we're just going to put a knot in one end. You're going to want it to be a good squished knot. And then we're just going to 
take the ribbon and twist it like that and then glue it down. So make sure you have your hot glue gun ready. You don't need very much glue, just enough for it to stick. And then just wait for it to cool a little bit so you can so you can move on. You just keep twisting. And adding more hot glue. So you just keep going until you run out of ribbon or until you get to your desired size. So once we're done, I'm going to just glue this part down and then bring it down. I'm just going to put some hot glue right there and then glue this ribbon down and then just fold it back and glue that down. And then with this little tail here, we're just going to fold that back as well. I'm actually going to cut off some more of that. We'll just put hot glue on the back and then we will bring that tail back and glue it down and that finishes our rolled flower and we can add it to the two layers now you can either glue your pieces together or you can use your needle and thread and stitch them together Either way it works. So taking our two layers, just make sure that you that the the petals are not gonna be like you want them to be overlapping a little bit. So there we go. So just take hot glue on the back of your second layer and just Spread it on and then place it down and then taking your rolled rosette, place hot glue on the back of this and then place that down in the center of our flower and that finishes the super cute flower loop bow and all you have to do is just Add a clip to the back, which is super easy to do, and enjoy. <laughs>